Hello, and welcome once again to Tasha's Take, the fashion of The Bachelorette. I'm Tasha Courtney, and this is my fiance, Dave Neal, and we are here to talk about the outfits of episode five. Oh boy, can you believe it? We're like almost halfway through the season. Is it really halfway? How many episodes I, are there I think total? there's 11 or 12, but the last few oh. episodes, it's like they wear a dress, you know what I mean? But this is like the heat, this is like where you put it in your A game. Because there's a still competition left, you know? Yeah, yeah, totally. The guys are, <laughs> well, they're trying. <laughs> we'll say that. We'll get to it. A right for now. effort. <laughs> but I do like that the guys are experimental. But um, I mean, how, what are they supposed to do? I've got three shirts. You know what I mean? These guys, they, they're not, you, they, you got your A shirt you wear on the first date and then you ride that pony till the shirt, you know, gets stained or something. I know we say this every episode, but fashion is like really, it's, uh, it's a expression of like your personal style. So like it's fun to sit to get to see like some of the guys are like a little quirkier than others, a little more metro than others. Like yeah, yeah it, it's nice. It, it is an extension, I think, of someone's personality how they dress. Well, so. extend your personality onto that like button, like this video, because there's a lot more content coming your way. But right now, are you ready to jump into this? Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I sorry, wanted to I start with uh Tasha's jacket. There it is. We had a really great jacket. Tasha wore a really great gr green jacket, almost identical to this last week. And I was raving about it. Everybody in the comments was raving about it. We really, really liked that green jacket. So here she is again and in a similar cut of jacket. It's got the little drawstring hem. It's a really nice neutral basic khaki color. I love this jacket. I'm going to find it. I'm going to link it for you. Uh, the Style Spotter has the original right here. Here, It's a Rails jacket. 200 bucks, not um, bad. Yeah, not bad. Something. And I'm sure I can find some good copycats. So I'll keep you posted on that. But that's one I might have to put in my own closet. Rails, Rails stuff is really nice. A little on the pricier side, but really nice stuff. You want to move on? Yeah, let's go on to uh, Katie's green uh, plaid. Well, you so, know, you know, later on in the episode, she calls herself Lazy Katie when she talks about wanting to do brunch all day. I'm not saying flannel's lazy, but if I think of Lazy Katie, it's this wardrobe right here. I think that they did a lot of like flannel and plaid just because of the location, because they're in Albuquerque. But I like this. I mean, we we keep talking about in all my other videos how like the 90s are back and grunge was such a 90s look and like the these plaids and flannels were a big part of like the grunge look of the 90s. So it only makes sense that like this is going to be a part of what's in style right now, especially considering their setting. Yeah. But I love this and I love that it's like a tonal green color, like a, a sort of evergreen color in the plaid. Um, and this is another one that I definitely want to put in my closet. Um, but she wore she wore a really nice cropped Plaid. Oh, there it is. Shacket um, in the last episode. Shacket. Shirt jacket. Shirt jacket. Shacket. And um, I linked a bunch of plaids already. So I have them for you right there at top. $60 green, a green plaid. Hers is, is not quite checked like that, but maybe she'll really be uh, shagging in her shacket. Maybe. That hey, that's not all the, the realm goes. of possibility. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I really love this look. I think this everything about this season reminds me of fall style. When did they shoot this? March. So it was still cold out. It was still cold out, but you know, we've had some really nice like fall, like back to school Yeah, look vibes. how cold Kaylin is. <laughs> back to school. Yeah, like a lot of plaid, a lot of denim, a lot of like winter boots. I This is like exactly when it, when it comes like September and it's back to school time. Time, this is what I want to have in my closet. Plus, you know, they when they do these group dates, they'll do the the daytime portion and then they'll glam it up with the nighttime dress. So it's kind of a nice mix to be like, all right, here's Katie now and then boom, shakalaka. Yeah, and it makes sense. They're doing a lot of like kind of physical outdoor activities. Yeah, the weather is not exactly like sunny. So <laughs> it's nice for them to be like cozy and casual and so on then, these group dates. And then this is the nighttime outfit right here. Uh, No. Uh, wait a second. Was this the first? Uh, the green plaid. Oh yeah, the green plaid was earlier. Okay, so yeah, this is the outfit that she wore on Blake's 
one-on-one -on -one date. Right. When they were like dancing with the country music I was going to say, star. oh, there you go. Okay, so that's the country music and star the on the whole left. Time, I don't know point. about you guys, but the whole time I was watching this, I was like, is that green? Is it blue? Is it gray? Is it black? I couldn't decide. And I was like trying to search outfits already because I'm always working. I was trying to prepare. And I, I thought it was black. And then I saw that the style spotter had the original and here it is in this like beautiful green. Yeah. It obviously looks different under like a bright studio spotlight, like where they photographed it like in the photo studio it comes across super bright green but in real life when it's on katie it looks like really nice and and subtle green i really like how it looks in real life so on what you do you call this a wrap is that what this is yeah it's it's probably a faux wrap just with like a little knot there oh it definitely is because i saw while oh, we were okay. watching it has a side zipper but yeah so this is like i would i would just call this like a bustier top or a corset top dress with like Obviously, a built-in it has thing. the underwire. underwire. It has the cups. It looks like it has boning detailing. I don't know for sure that this is actual boning, but you would think if they're going to the, you know, if they're going ahead and putting in like boning detail styling, like the, they would just do boning. But yeah, this is really beautiful. I love this. Oh, and it's convertible straps because the models is strapless and there hers has straps. So I, I really like that too. I think this is a super fun uh, dress and it looks amazing on Katie. Blake will be boning for sure with some detail. All right, folks. <laughs> That's what you, I, just uh, got a, I just lost you a subscriber right there. Sorry about that. Okay, so after Blake's one-on-one, -on -one, we have the really fun mash ball. What was it called? Mash ball? Uh, ball ba bash ball. Um, like ball bash ball. <laughs> bash ball <laughs> group date. And Katie looked super cute in her workout outfit. We haven't gotten to talk on my videos a whole lot about workout outfits, but I know that some commenters have asked about like casual style, lounge style. This is your forte. This is it. Lounge, like nice looking I mean, loungewear. It's Tasha Courtney. Trust me, I love a good like <laughs> legging and sweatpant. I really do. I do not like to dress up at home. Um, so just to touch on like what I really like about this outfit, um, Katie's wearing, she's wearing a more like full coverage bra. Her V neck on her bra is hitting a little higher on her chest than like a lot of the bras that I have. Um, but I like it. It's, it's coverage. You it's mean very, it's not as deep you're saying? Yeah. The V is kind of like up on her ribs and it's not showing any cleavage. So for someone who, who is a little like chest conscious or um, you know, wants to be conservative, doesn't want people ogling her at the gym. This is an excellent bra that's going to make you feel a little more covered up. And then I love that she's showing her stomach, but it doesn't look like too much because she's covering the belly button. And that's like a huge styling secret, even for like, you know, non-workout outfits, like wearing a jean and a crop top. In order to pull it off, you can't, it's got to be like, if it's skin on top, it shouldn't be skin on bottom. It's got to be one or the other. And so by wearing a high-waisted jean, you can wear a, a crop top and show a little bit of skin, oh. but not feel like it's too much. But if you wore a crop top with your low-rise Britney, Britney Spears, Spears jeans, <laughs> that would feel like too much. That's toxic, so, you might say. Hey, <laughs> hey folks. <come> wow. <laughs> Free but Britney. Yeah, so I love that these are the high-waisted leggings, and she's got the full coverage bra, and it doesn't matter that she's walking around with her shirt unzipped. She looks great. So what do you, how do you like this jacket? I think it's cute. I mean, I... I it's basic, essential? Yeah, it's, it's just a basic, exactly. Like you said, it's just an essential Go to the sort farmer's of market and get some produce. Zip up, workout top. Lululemon, I mean, if, as far as like, because I got you that aloe brand bralette. It was expensive, but the quality is amazing. You can like skim quality in certain ways, but I feel like loungewear, like, like Lululemon's gonna, that's gonna work out well for you, but it's gonna cost you, you know? Yeah, they're a little bit more expensive. Um, you know, they, uh, I don't want to speak out of turn, but they did, they were having a problem with their leggings being see-through a few years ago. I remember it was like oh, yeah, in, don't the, bend over. in the fashion news, but like, you know, if I'm going to have my butt show through, I'm going to make sure they were $15 <laughs> leggings, <laughs> not expensive leggings. But no, no, I think they have long since fixed that problem. So, so I don't want to So here she is smack. with the boys in the oh, same Oh, this is my scene. favorite. Okay. This. This is, I, I love it. I love that these guys, Wells and Franco, are not afraid to have fun. Like this, this was just really fun. This was so Hunger Games or like dodgeball commentary. Like this was just like over the top comedic. 
I love this Hunger they also, Games. Yeah, they had to pick pun. a color that wasn't blue or red because that's what the other teams, the teams were. So they had to pick like a neutral color with the yellow, right? I just, I like that they're doing the turtleneck with a blazer. We've seen this a couple times um, in like rose ceremony and group date styling on the boys. And I just think it's, it's fun, but I love that. Yeah, they went with like the bright yellow jackets, um, but I thought this was like really fun and funny. And so I'm I'm totally going to link this outfit just for fun, like for the girls. It feels like the turtleneck companies are trying to sell us on turtlenecks. It ain't going to happen. I love a turtleneck. No. I don't know what you're talking about. And a guy? Yeah. Come on. No, I, I really do Maybe like that look. Maybe if your neck's too long and you need to break I things mean, up. I mean, obviously, if we're going to an, a formal event, I wouldn't want you wearing like a bright yellow jacket with your turtleneck i would want you doing something a little more tonal but i like the way some of the boys have done it for group date styling these are steelers colors pittsburgh steelers That's the yellow true. the golden whatever all right so here we are the the men we got the uh, the old onesie the wrestling one piece here <laughs> Lindsay amico says does anyone else see what i'm seeing we see it now <laughs> <laughs> this is funny that was a good yeah, one I mean, how do you even go with the style uh, you gotta you got the the nips and the whole thing and there's a lot happening there yeah, this, I mean, these are obviously silly outfits that they did for the date. Well, you know what it was? Last year, Yosef was like, oh, all the guys are nude. So like, all right, we'll give them suspenders. We're going to give them suspenders. So they basically have, you know, you keep the uh, keep the shoulders in place there. And then the next one up there is... There were some very fit bodies on the TV. Very fit bodies, yeah. Um. All right, so on to the, the night portion of the group date. Right. Katie walked out in this hot little thing. You loved this right away. Yeah, Tasha's I really like this. Tasha's yelling at the TV with it's this one. It's just, it's fun. It's bold. It's nice to see everybody making bold fashion choices. This, you know, this is very, like, body con, and this is a lot of va-va-boom. How it's does red, this dress get on? It's got to have a zipper. But is it, like, pleather? What's the pleather rules here? You know, like does it, it sticks to you, doesn't it? Uh, no, a, a pleather would have like a backing that's not going to be super sticky. You need to like sprinkle baby powder. In just to <laughs> that, get it that's off uh, the Ross. Well, thing maybe from it's Brin. maybe it's not pleather because it's twenty three and ninety. It, it um is latex, I believe. Latex. Oh, yeah. then that's not coming off. I already off. looked it up. Um, but yeah, this is really nice. I I thought she looked great in it. I like the um you know the the neckline and armhole front armhole detail, and then it has just like a nice sporty racer back. So you call that racer back when it's on the back, but it's also on the front. So is this called racer back on the front? Well, it's as not well? quite a a racer front, so no... but it is. You know, that's that's like a armhole detailing. I guess I would call it. Okay. Yeah, air, air out the uh, side top peck or whatever that is. But yeah, is. she just looks really nice. I think on a person who like is athletic and has th athletic shoulders, this would look like really amazing. Um, but yeah, I just, I love this dress. She looked beautiful in it. So this is really cool. I already started looking for dupes for this and it's going to be a tough one, but uh, I'll keep you posted with what I find. Laura said, reminded me of a fruit roll up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love fruit. You'd eat it from the inside out. You'd poke a hole in it. Remember, you just put it on your face like yeah, a mask. Yeah, like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kids who, who had COVID when you just, you know, wear your food. By the way, I always try and dress like inspired by Katie's outfits, and she's running me out of red dresses. Yeah, who I are you wearing today? I seriously don't have, this is just like a lover's give and a, can you Give one. us a look here. Show no, us what we're working with. Come I'm on, you look beautiful. I can't stand up. Oh, it's got a nice material too. It's just like a little puff sleeve. By lovers and friends right there. But the point was, is that she's running me out of here. red dresses. Yeah. I think she has a thing for like the red and power stance red dress, and I, I really like it. She obviously rocks the red. She looks really great in it, and I think red is like her color like maybe red is the color that like really makes her feel good yeah so all right i'm gonna have to shop for some more red dresses like oh uh, here we go <laughs> this somehow i'm going broke hit the like button subscribe <laughs> all right so there she is in her uh in her latex there uh, um but I, you know what's funny is the guys the biggest you know when guys are always like oh I'm, I'm allergic to latex you know what i mean that's like the whole trope that men have well clearly if they didn't sneeze when she's with her here they can't be that <laughs> allergic no excuses she's, they're like i'm allergic to latex <laughs> like i just wore 2400 dollars in latex you got to do it <laughs> All right. Uh, so speaking so of what, the is this boys, what, am I wearing the same outfit here? The boy, please don't. Okay, oh right, my well, gosh! I'm glad you stopped me. <laughs> um, yeah, the boys' outfits on the group date. It does kind of look like he's wearing a similar shirt to you, though. Oh yeah, but he's. I mean, it's got like on. that slubby linen texture. Anyway, it looked chest. like a really really nice shirt, but I was cracking up that we saw Connor once again with his deep V. He loves his deep V. And we saw who this reminded us of. We on Twitter, of course, J Lo. Right there, <laughs> Connor B's shirt in every scene for absolutely no reason at all. <laughs> 
<laughs> Who needs a reason? There it is, folks. This is before Twitter. How old do you feel? Like this was like before Twitter was existed. This yeah. was like the big news of the day that J Lo's uh, deep V went you know straight down to the so crotch. So hot. That was that was a, a big scandal very back hot in the day. Look, this wouldn't be scandalous for a 15 year old on TikTok these days. You know what I mean? Times have changed. All right. So what do we have next to here? It is. So this actually, I, this was his outfit at the rose ceremony, but just to talk about it, I, I've mentioned, I said at the beginning of this video, I do like the little turtleneck or the mock neck under the jacket, but with the chain over it, he, did, <laughs> I didn't think of the rock, but I was like, what, what oh, is yeah. that going on here? Oh yeah. Steve Jobs meets the rock. That's who they are <laughs> right there. But it's cute. And I like that he's making bold fashion choices. It was just a, you know, it's obviously a bright silver. Yeah or white gold or someone on chain. twitter said he looks like macklemore's manager <laughs> all right it's cute i i like that he's taking um he's taking chances with are his we fashion. are we getting to like a dominatrix store and we got the latex we got the chains you know she's got kind of like a the kink happening not the kink shame there's no shame attached we're just trying to label i don't know this. i mean i i'm trying to think back to past seasons like if anybody had like a really signature style and i just i don't recall but she does wear a lot of red, and I really like it. But this is just, this is not kink. This is just a basic black blouse. When she first walked out, I actually didn't, because, like, the way the first opening scene when it, like, revealed her outfit was kind of, like, dark and shadowy, and I couldn't figure out what she was wearing. Like, I, I was like, something with the belt? Is it a skirt? I, I didn't know. Um, yeah, but She likes cats, so she, it was kind of cat suity. Hey. It was a little shiny, shimmery. Yeah, no, it really. I mean, be fair. You weren't enjoying this on on at the top of the. Well, and, and at first I was like, I I want to see her in a really glam dress, you know. I, when I, she said the uh, group dates, but this was actually the one on one. Yeah. You know, we always see her in these really beautiful outfits, but then they walk out to the woods. It makes woods, sense. They go into the woods. She and looks it's like, like she's oh on my a bank gosh, heist. of course. She needs to be wearing pants for this. Yeah. Like, obviously cold, the middle of the night. They're in the woods. There's bugs everywhere. Yeah, she looks like a train Where's robber. Some, what? You know, she's dressed like a, she's got like a case of joint. She's going to go rob a bank or something. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, so I still, because the whole scene was dark, I really don't know exactly what she was wearing. In my imagination, I feel like she was wearing black leather pants. And that's what I'm hoping she was. I don't know that they were black leather pants. They might yeah. just be like plain black pants. Boy. But I wanted them yeah, to be leather. it's really tough to tell. So I'm going to link black leather pants when I do this outfit because do you, do you have leather pants I don't have any leather pants how do you fart but in leather pants like what what even we goes don't on need to go there. I feel like you're gonna blow a gasket or something um but yeah it's it, the leather pants are like really back in style right now or the pleather you know so this is like a we're gonna have a little fun with this outfit and yeah the blouse is really nice again it was so dark that I couldn't really tell like is it a wrap is it a cow but obviously uh the style spotter has found the original 238 on sale and um yeah I thought this this look was really nice especially for the event right and obviously you want to dress sensible for what you're doing yeah and then after this they got in the hot tub and I didn't get a picture of Kate. Did they even show Katie's full bikini or swimsuit? We'll I only get that. saw like the straps. And then for a second when they were making out, well, I saw the back and it had a nice crisscross detail. But if anybody has a photo of the swimsuit to send to me, please do. Because I think I blinked and missed it. Um, or if anybody finds the original, definitely send it to me because I'm just curious. But yeah, we don't have a photo. All of the that, people I don't in think. my chat went crazy for the hot tub because you know, like a, the hot tub used to be the bread and butter. You know, they'd wheel a hot tub out to the <laughs> to every you know, day some meadow somewhere. <laughs> like, what's the hot tub doing there? Like, don't worry about it. It's like we're in the you know middle of a cow farm here. But you know, they finally brought the hot tub out, but we didn't get to see too much going on in there. Uh, I don't know why that was the case, but maybe they're saving the hot tub for future episodes. But uh, I love the hot tub. That's the perfect ending to every date. Well, she I was going to ask you this, and I asked this on my recap. If if people don't know my recap recap i was asking the same question would you rather have the singer doing a private concert we get to slow dance or would you rather have the hot tub which date would you rather have 100 percent the hot tub there's no question yeah, about no that question right i'll tell you why every time they do one of these like concert or like you know private concert dates i just feel bad for the band and i feel bad for them on the date because they like have to dance 
because everybody's looking at them. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like they have awkward. Yeah. Well, more awkward before COVID when it would be like a bunch of fans watching you dance. Yeah. This and is even better. Like, do you remember, um, who was it? It was just a couple. Oh, it was the chase rice thing. And they were like standing up on a platform dancing and like everyone was all around them. Yeah. It, it makes, it felt like a zoo. Awkward. Like they were on display. I don't know. So 100% I choose the hot tub every time. Good to know. Tasha wants a hot tub. And, and then we've got here. And now you, oh yeah. So I actually, I already, talked about these outfits on my 4th of July post because they put out a little like promo pic on Instagram ahead of time of Tasha and Caitlin and Katie's outfits for this rose ceremony and it was red white and blue so I did a little 4th of July post about it but this is so because I already talked about Tasha and Caitlin's outfits I don't want to talk about them again but I will just briefly touch on Katie's outfit um obviously it's a beautiful full length one shoulder gown um and I did I I linked some similar styles but you know we had a uh, fourth of July barbecues in mind when I wrote that post so I, I'll go ahead and link some more similar dresses that are formal gowns um but yeah I think obviously here she is what in the red of, again what do you think so about the shoes? many red dresses I like the shoes a lot that they I think work they're well. great yeah, yeah. they kind of match the same uh, uh, energy of these mm-hmm. chain well mm-hmm. i mean speaking of you've got the chain mail happening there's a lot you, so you think this is just a like a faux thing or do you think it wraps around the whole no leg? it's just from slit to slit you could there's so many pickup lines you could have as a guy if you're just like oh you know like i'd like to pick the lock i don't know there's a lot you could go there like uh send, i'll send you some chain mail i don't know there's i didn't prepare <laughs> there's something there it works better on her no offense to the model here but it's kind of flapping around there i mean it's a lot you know like i said before you're not going through tsa in this thing not, not in my book it's cute it's stylish it's we fun. don't have a price on it though so that, that means expensive yeah, and actually she wore, was her, no, not her green dress. Her opening night dress was Randy Rum. Yeah, Her that's opening right. night red Which was dress. A cust- was it a custom dress? I'm assuming, yeah. yeah none of these on his website, um, it's not like in a collection like that I could see that you could just buy. I think a lot of these are custom made or, you know, the stylist pulled them from like, his private collection. So as you had mentioned, we made a video specifically for 4th of July with these colors in mind. So people can go check that out. Obviously, I hope you guys had a good 4th. Uh, we're still, we literally still have fireworks happening right now. It. If you want to go check out fireworks, move to Los Angeles. They don't stop ever. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you picked out all these great options. So you go way more into depth in that video. But I think we got through this whole episode. Did we get yeah, it all? Yeah, that's, that's this whole rep- episode. That's a wrap on this one. What's the general take? What's, what are we, what are we, uh, what are we summarizing here with Katie's look? Are you seeing trends? Well, definitely the red? the red is a trend for Katie. Red and flannel. And the flannel. She's one or the other. She's, I'm doing flannel till I'm doing red. What do you want? There's no in between. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really like her style. A real uh, sleeper. You know, she's like, oh, I don't do fashion. And then she's pulling out all these looks. Yeah. Yeah. She's really looking like a million bucks every night. So I'm and then, impressed. And then people can go check out the video you made earlier today about Katie's one piece bathing suit outfit. Yeah, which her I Instagram think They post. said in the comments that she had, she just let the stylist run with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's what I heard that, you know, they were just putting together this style styled shoot and she just told the stylist like, yeah, you, you take over. Let's have fun. I want to do what you want to do, which is like the best way to do it, because then you get to like make somebody's vision come to life. Like you're putting your trust in their vision and they have like full creative freedom. And it's just, it's nice to do that collaborative kind well, of stuff. And obviously it really worked. It, it looks great on her. Really I trusted my stylist at Fantastic Sam's in junior high school or when I was a junior in high school and she cut off my bangs the day before prom. So you know what? Don't always trust, you know, do your research is my point. But uh, yeah, that's the another story for another day. Bowl cut. All right. So uh, everyone can go follow at Tasha Courtney on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And go check out all the content you've got going on and probably have more duplicate videos going on this week yeah uh i will aim for thursday to maybe be released friday for a dupes video for all of the outfits from this episode um and yeah i mean check out instagram and check out the blog you'll get the fastest updates there so hopefully we'll, we can put a link to the blog in the description so that people can easily find it and uh we'll see you next time bye everybody bye